Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. So um, this is the uh, continuing series of the Smart PLS uh, videos. My name is Derek Ong, and I'd like to share with you now the uh, simulation uh, of how to use formative and reflective measures in a uh, Smart PLS model. Now, um, I would like to encourage you to watch the video before this, just to have a little bit of theory behind what constitutes a formative and what constitutes a reflective measure and to understand how best to uh, differentiate between the two and to make sure that you make sure that you have the correct model uh, especially in the measurement model so that you won't run into problems later on okay so i'm just going to start out with this um, uh, model here called the uh, uh, perf uh, the, the, the use of the manufacturing performance uh, and the um, uh, 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 model where you have IT use commitment and trust onto sharing of information and of course the uh, performance. So um, there are two things here that is related to uh, IT use and performance which is supposed to be modeled as reflective measures. So I'm going to show you how uh, this can be done. First of all, um, by default, everything will be um, uh, modeled as reflective. What you can do is to change this to, a ref uh, to formative, is to right click on the latent variable and just choose switch between formative and reflective. Voila, it's that simple. And so we do this as well. Yeah, so now we've got the right uh, formative and reflective uh, measures. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to do uh, the reflective measures uh, that shows how we get all this information. Now, I am not going to go through the reflective measures because you can put in the loadings uh, for the reflective and also the uh, AVE uh, for the, um, uh, what you call this, the uh, reflective measures. So if you notice that uh, for the reflective measures, um, commitment is a reflective measure. Let me just pull this up a little bit bigger for you. Yeah, Commitment is a reflective measure and therefore, hold on. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger for you to see. That's a little bit too big. And there you go. So if you notice that um, I have here a uh, mix of formative and reflective measures. So formative, oh, sorry, commitment is a reflective uh, variable. So we use back the same loadings to make sure that everything's above 0.5. Uh, the AVE and then the CR and same goes for the reflective measures of sharing and trust yeah but you do need to indicate that these are reflective reflective and reflective and uh, the CR for commitment and the CR uh, for sharing and CR for trust, as well as the AVE, which is above 0 0.5, if you remember, and uh, for trust and sharing as well. So it's the loading weights. Everything's above 0 0.5, there, so that's good. So the only thing we need to concentrate now is how to get these information out. Yeah, the uh, information for uh, IT use and manufacturing performance. Okay, uh, that's more like it. So, if for loadings we are supposed to, uh, for reflective, we're supposed to show the loadings, and then for the uh, formative, we need to show the weights, which is the outer weights, yeah, as I mentioned here. And if for the um, AVE for the reflective, we are supposed to show the AVE, then we are supposed to show the T values, which is like regression weights uh, uh, for the formative. And if for the CR, uh, 
composite reliability for reflective we are then need to show the variance inflation factor uh, making sure there's no um, uh, multicollinearity for the formatic measures so i'm just going to show you how to do this so let's start by going straight to the bootstrapping now if you notice that um, we are supposed to use the complete bootstrapping when we want to do reflective measures and uh, ensure that when we do reflective bootstrapping we will be able to get the information that we want okay so i'm just going to show you uh, like i said we're going to show you only for the reflective uh, formative measures uh, the reflective measures just do as per normal for only the measures that are reflective which is these three uh, and one of my previous videos so this video is only concentrating on how to show the uh, sections on the uh, formative measures which is the loading weights as well as the VIF so let's calculate consistent PLS I'm sorry uh, complete bootstrapping yeah bootstrapping make sure we choose complete bootstrapping uh, keep it as the two tailed uh, you can push this at 0 0.1 if you want to but it doesn't really make any difference so don't worry about it start calculation right um, so if you notice that uh, bootstrapping the calculation and running 5,000 samples um, just as before you can always run uh, 500 or 5,000 it doesn't matter of course the more that you run of course will be better but uh, remember that when you run that 5,000 uh, you are running into a bit of a jam yeah uh, what I'm going to do is while I'm waiting for that to run I'm just going to put a slide here in my Excel sheet just to show you how to get the information out so this will be my reflect and format measure since I've already have this I'm just going to copy this whole thing and paste it here which I'm going to show you where I get the information from Okay, just a little bit of um, borders just to make sure that we see everything. Uh, maybe not. Right. So it's really good that um, I've given you the uh, options of what to write at the top so that it'd be easy for you to just follow these headings yeah because these headings are in fact the easiest way for you to um, uh, identify your uh, separation uh, and, and, and reporting format okay here we go of course finally you have your trust okay right so remember same thing as your reflective you have your construct you have your items you have your scale so you need to do the reflective first uh, in this PLS algorithm and then run the uh, uh, complete bootstrapping with the formative so that you understand that you're supposed to do it twice one's reflective and one's formative and first put in the loadings for the reflective then only uh, then the AVE for the reflective then the CR for the reflective now this should be done and um, I'm going to show you the outer weights if you notice there's the outer weights and uh, these are the weights that you need yeah I'm just gonna copy this as an Excel format and paste here ok 
Okay. In case you can't see it properly, um, we will be needing the sample mean as the outer weights. So if you notice the formatted for IT use, IT DW, IT department, IT internet, and IT SF, hmm? it's the same here. See this? It's the same. So we need the weights. So the weights use the, oh, sorry, use the original sample weights, which is here, to put here, the original sample. Got it? So you notice that these are the same um, numbers as the weights. Yeah, so remember to go to the outer weights, okay? Next, where do you get your T stats? Same thing. Your T statistics will be here, which is the T statistics. And you're doing this. Now, don't worry if the T statistics doesn't look the same. Yeah, uh, I'll just copy and paste it for you. Copy. Let me just delete everything. It'll be easier for you. So, get the original sample, formative, get the manufacturing, formative, easy, get the T stats here, and the T stats here. Just make sure that all the uh, Variables are the same, yeah. MP cost, flexibility, uh, quality, and reliability is the same. Okay. Let me just close this off. And what else do we need? We, of course, need the VIF. So, where do we get the VIF for these two? We get the VIF for these two from the variance inflation factor. We get the VIF by running the PLS algorithm, of course. There you go. So you have the VIF here, Excel format for the outer values. You can paste here, make it easy. And you need the VIF for these. Copy for the IT. And the VIF for the MP. Simple, easy. And that's it. So that's how you model the um, uh, reflective and formative and putting it into a table. If you have any questions on uh, this measurement model for formative and reflective, please do email me. And uh, when you want to do the um, structural model, it's all the same. The reflectives are all the same. Please review some of the past videos on the reflective. This video is just meant for me to show you how to model the reflective. All right. Uh, again, once again, you might want to put down a little bit of blurb on uh, the uh, weights uh, and also the uh, t-stats and the CR, uh, just to make sure that uh, you represent the table uh, properly. All right. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, please watch the next video.